Right, here we have a 2007 Toyota RAV4. Mm. That's my mom's car. Over there we have a 2000 Toyota RAV4 that hasn't run in I want to say five or six years literally and the tires are all flat so I can't drive it even if I wanted to but uh, it only has like 70,000 miles on it or something like that it's you know plain and simple the battery is dead so I got rid of it so I think uh, I might harvest the battery out of this bad dog here and uh, let's see if we can get her started and yes, the gas in it is, like I said, six years old or whatever. So, I don't know. Uh, needless to say, I need to get some shit off of it first. But, uh, yeah. Here we go. Alright, well, got most of the, well, at least enough of the BS off of it. Um, I believe it's unlocked. Yep. Yeah, that's filled with a bunch of junk. What is this? Oh, yeah. There you go. Garbage picked. Still in the bag, though. Wire loom set. Set that up there. Everything's good in here. Pop the hood. Probably should have moved more stuff here. And I'm, I'm sorry for the lighting. Oh, shit. All right, hang on. Got to pause this. All right. Hood up. Got a light. And there's the old battery. So let's do an old swappy swappy. Here's our victim. Oh, yeah. Get it, Toyota. All right, let me get this out of here. All right, got the battery out of that one in here, over there. Problem is the uh, terminal size is not meant for the clamp size there, so they're just kind of barely sitting on there. So probably going to be a really bad connection, but anyways, I'm going to try and start it either way. Well, one way to find out. turned the key and I don't know if you heard it on camera there was sort of a click noise I don't know if that was the starter or some sort of solenoid or something doing a thing and then uh, no power because all the lights were on it initially so I gotta see if I can get that uh, battery terminal connected more hopefully that's it or I just broke something I don't know <sighs> alrighty then try number two Honestly, yeah, needless to say, I'm not sponsored by Toyota, but uh, they make some pretty damn good shit. Here, let me uh, get the camera off here. I'll show you more. Sorry for the bad lighting, but yeah. Oh, man. It just runs like a champ. Heck yeah. 
Heck yeah. Alright. A few new tires. And by a few, I mean all four. And then uh, a non robbed battery, aka I need a battery. Check this out, huh? And yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, it's been sitting that long. You shouldn't rev it. You shouldn't rev it. I know, but I'm excited. Radio works, blower works, everything's good to go. Obviously, uh, a little low in the fuel department there, but, you know, that's solvable. Heck, yeah. Good job, Toyota. Okay, it's upside down. Here, check that out. Uh, or wait, is that? Uh, whatever. You know what I mean? Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to do, uh, do in this video, and I feel I've accomplished it. I'm going to just let it run a few minutes, maybe pour some fresh gas in just to let it do its thing, uh, check the oil, because it had uh, Castrol full synthetic in it, and it only had like 1,500 miles on it. I uh, should still definitely check it, of course, maybe change a filter if anything, um, you know, whatever. We'll get to all that, but... Woo! I'm excited! Look! My car's back! Yay! Hey, look. It's me. Alright. Have a good one, and thank you for watching. Hopefully, I will be updating the continued nonsense with this derelict, now less derelict, 2000 Toyota RAV4. Rock on, folks.